This video is how to check your engine mount clamps or butterflies for proper fitting of your chassis. So I have three examples here. I have one butterfly that's too large. As you can see, it's not going to easily drop in between the frame rails. Now, with a lot of the chassis, you could force this in, but you don't want to because it will stretch the tubing or collapse it. This butterfly is too loose. It shouldn't wobble. It shouldn't rock and back and forth too much. It should be somewhat of a nice, don't want to say press fit because you don't want it to be jammed in there, but that's too sloppy. The third clamp, that one's going to fit just about right. As I try to rock it back and forth, there's not much play but it freely drops into the cart and that's what you're looking for. You don't want to have to force it in and you don't want it to be too sloppy because we are using the butterflies to center the mount and to secure your engine. Another good idea is to run it up and down the frame. You want to make sure that all the way up and down the spacing is the same. And there you have it. So it's a good idea to double check your butterflies. Make sure they're properly fitting. You don't want to have the wrong ones because the mount's going to come loose, it's going to shift back on you. It could rock, it could do a lot of things. The other thing you want to look out for with the butterflies, if you're mixing and matching manufacturers, you want to make sure that the bottom of the butterfly does not bottom out with the engine mount. So you always need to have an air gap there because when you tighten everything up, if you don't have the air gap, the butterfly will bottom out on the bottom of the engine mount and then what's going to happen is not going to be tight. So always double check that you have an air gap.